Lord. Thank you. Thank you, The book of First Kings, now that's in that's in the Old Testament you, scripture, God. that eleven book. In the Old Testament scripture. Yes, mm. First Kings, the third chapter. Ooh, I feel good now. Hallelujah. I'm out of breath, but I feel good. Ooh. Well, you better try that one time. Hallelujah. All right. I know I've got to preach two times. <laughs> Book of First Kings. Yeah. Third chapter. Uh -huh. I will begin reading at verse number 16. Bear with me. It says, uh, Then came down two women that uh, were harlot unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, Oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was <laughs> delivered also. And we were together there, and there was no stranger with us in the house, except we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thine handmaiden slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son which I did bad. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son. And uh, <laughs> the dead is thy son. My Lord. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son. And the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. And then said the king that one said, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And another, the other said, Nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Mm -hmm. Amen. Divide the living child yes. in two yes. and give half to the one and half to the yes. other. Yes. And then spake the woman whose the living child was yes. unto the king. For uh, her bowels yearned upon her son. Amen. And she said, Oh my Lord, give her the living child. And then no iron slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor hers. Hmm. But divide it. And then the king answered and said, Give her the living child. And then no iron slay it. She is the mother thereof. From those scriptures, I'd like to talk about being delivered uh 
and put in the right hands. Being delivered and put in the right hands. There are folk who you have written off and you have worried about as long as you know how to worry about it. Uh -huh. You know what to do and pray it all, yeah. you know what to pray. <laughs> and I want to help you today by letting you know that they're just not in the right hands. Amen. 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 And what happens to us is strictly determined by whose hands Amen. we're in. Amen. And make no mistake about it, the scripture said that Whoever you yield your members to, yes. that's who is Lord over your life. Oh, yes. Well, there are only two that are vying for you. Yes. See, some folk like you, some folk say they love you, some folk lust after you, some yes. folk want to use you. But there are only two beings yes. that have the ability or uh, the capability yes. of possessing your soul. You all understand that? And that is God and the devil. Yes. And I promise you, if you're in the hand of God, yes. if you go with God, what Glory I'm trying to say, you're going the right way. Yes. The devil does not mean you no good. No. I don't care what he offers you, what he says, how he treats you. Amen. The devil is your enemy. Yes, he is. He's not your friend. Amen. And he never, ever, never, ever, never, ever has your best interest Amen. at heart. Amen. In fact, if Peter was here, Peter would tell you what Jesus told him. Yes. Simon, Satan desired to have you. Yes. He might send you out. I have prayed for you. Hallelujah. When you are conveyed, yes. strengthen your brethren. Yes. When we look at this life, yes. there are always choices that we have to make. Amen. And uh, uh, some folk want to paint God only as being pro life. Yes. I have to remind folk uh -huh. that yes, he's pro-life, but he's also pro-choice. Yeah. That was God who said, Behold, I set before you this day life and death. Amen. I would that to choose life. Yeah. I set before you both good and evil. Yeah. I would that to choose the good. Yeah. For if you choose good, you'll feel better. Y'all understand that? Amen. Not only will you be, feel better, but you'll be better. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We must understand that there is a real war Amen. going on. Amen. And when I was in the United States Army in basic training, they put all of the emphasis on going to battle. Yeah. Yeah. They talk about the enemy, the enemy's weapons, the tools, and the tactics of the enemy. And they were conditioning our minds to yeah. always be ready for war. Y'all yeah. understand? Yeah. Other words, what they were saying, we may be at a Labor Day parade, we may be at a picnic, yeah. but when the enemy attacks, you got to be ready. And basic training they would teach us that you had to stay with your weapon. Yes. Yes, sir. And we understood that we were all on the base and we were all together. Nobody wasn't going to bother us and you could get caught up in the moment and lay your weapon down and be over there somewhere. Right, right. Don't do that. Amen. Amen. When they Amen. catch you doing that, yeah. sometimes they would make you do strange things. Tell yeah. you hug your weapon and kiss your weapon and do push-ups holding your weapon and run up and down the street holding your weapon just to remind us of the seriousness of war. And when war is declared, you have to be ready. 
And we as believers got to know and understand of a surety. Yes. There is a war yes. going on. And it's yes. greater than ISIS. It's greater than Kuwait. It's greater than Iran. It's greater than Russia. The devil is at war to possess your soul. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. And we quote the right scriptures. Amen. The book said without faith. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's impossible to please God. Yeah. So the devil don't come, as you think, just to convince you to do bad stuff. Yeah. His objective is to distort and destroy yeah. your faith because the book says without faith, it's impossible yeah. to please God. So he will tell you it's all right to do what you want to do. Have fun. Uh -huh. Enjoy yourself. Live your life. Live it up. And then when you do that and the consequence is coming, God is not blessing you like you think you ought to be blessed. Then the devil will tell you, ain't nothing to God. God ain't real. God doesn't care. And by doing that, if you're listening to him, he's able to destroy your very faith. But Jude says that we have to uh, contend for the faith. Yeah. That means we have to wrestle for it. We have to fight for it. When yeah. your faith seems weak, you can't be going away from the church. Amen. You know what I'm When your faith seems no. weak, you can't be hiding from the saints. Yeah. You ought to be looking for them. You ought to be trying. If you want to stay warm, you got to stay by the fire. You ought to be looking for somebody who can get a word through to God. Somebody who's sincere. Somebody who can call on God. That's who you ought to be looking for. But the devil convinces us when we done messed up. Instead of running to the house, instead of coming boldly to the throne of grace, the devil And I'm going to get to my text, but I want to remind you one more good time, because it's Sunday. Amen. That John 10 and 10 says, let me see what it's saying. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. The thief come. Amen. Huh? Amen. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Amen. The thief. Yeah. The enemy, the devil. Yeah. He comes to steal, uh -huh. to kill, yeah. and to destroy. Amen. Now maybe I said that kind of proper and it sounded like it wasn't such a bad thing, but to steal, to kill, or destroy. Yeah. You when you hear words like that, you ought to just take them seriously. Yeah. That's worthy of looking at. That's worthy of having a contention plan. That, that's worthy of knowing that I need to be on alert because the yeah. enemy come but for to steal, yeah. to kill, and to destroy. I don't want to be killed. I don't want to be stolen from it. Suddenly, I don't want to be destroyed. But Jesus said, but I come that you might have my death a distinct contest. That's a distinct difference in what the devil Choose to link up with the devil at the time. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. My Lord. I shouldn't have took that communication. We ought to be able to talk about this. Amen. <laughs> the thief come. Yes. You know him, the enemy, oh, yeah. the devil, Satan, Lucifer. Yeah. He just comes to. Still, yes. to kill and destroy. Oh, amen. Jesus said, I have come Hallelujah. Thank you. so you can have life. Thank you. And, uh, you can, I ain't talking about this battle get by. Right. <laughs> but so that you can have it more than one of that. In our text, I saw some striking similarities yeah. that help uh, describe to us, uh, paint a picture yeah. 
of the seriousness of uh, the imminent threat yeah. of danger yeah. in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. The text said that there were two women yeah. who both were harlots. Yeah. Uh, modern day text would say they were prostitutes. And they alone lived in a house together. Yeah. And the scripture said that the one woman had a child. Yeah. Uh -huh. And nobody else was in the house but her, the child, and the other woman. Yeah. And three days later, the other woman had a child. Yeah. And the book say that the other woman overlaid, that just means she slept on, she, she smothered, she suffocated yeah. her baby, yeah. and he died in the middle of the night. Yeah. And she realized that her baby had died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And rather than give God praise, uh -huh. rather than seek God, Amen. rather than Amen. do the right thing, yeah. she taken and went and switched the baby. The baby. Yeah. Mama, mama. And gave the lady her dead baby mm -hmm. and took the lady's living baby. Yeah. Now I'm glad this story is in here. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a fable. It's a true story, and it was designed for one purpose. They put it in the book of Chronicles of Kings so that we could see how wise a king that Solomon was. It was designed so that after God had Solomon had prayed to God and asked for wisdom, God told him he was going to grant that wisdom and he was going to be the wisest man to ever live, and, and God. I kept that promise and, and it tested out the first case he get as king. Here come these two women with some he say, she say, no DNA, no real evidence. And God needed some kind of way to resolve this case. Amen. Amen. All right. You understand that. That then last night they could have went on my way. <laughs> and told him, look at his nose. You know what I'm saying? There was no DNA. Uh -huh. Just the wisdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The Bible says when they came to the king, All right. boy, we got a story for you. Uh -huh. The woman said and pled her case. Yes. Yes. Concerned about her baby. Yes. Said, see, nighttime back then wasn't like nighttime now. You know what I'm saying? At nighttime, if you pay your light bill, you can get it just as light at night as it is in the right. daytime. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. But back then, wasn't no light bill, it wasn't no light. Y'all ain't saying yeah. that. So at night, when the switch was made, it was easy to fool the woman. But yeah. the scripture said, when it came day, when it got light, and she was able to look, she knew that this was not her baby that was dead, but this was the other woman's baby. And I'm going to tell you something. Satan loved to come at us with tricks and illusions. Say the love to fool us with may like and play like the stuff that similar and stuff that seem real, but say the deal in fake stuff. He's a fake and a phony, and he specializes in fake and phony stuff. Y'all better hear me. He specializes in substitutes. Always trying to convince you to take something like what God got for you. Y'all ain't saying I don't want nothing like what God got for me because the book say every good and perfect gift come from above. I don't want no imitation stuff. I want the best. I want what God wants me to do. Amen. Tripping around with fifty dollars, and God trying to put somebody in your path that can give you fifty million. Y'all ain't saying you think you can know you think you beat somebody listening to the devil. When you hear the voice of God, God will make ways for you. God will open doors for you. God is able to move mountains for you. Amen. But the 
devil. Yeah. And deals in trickery. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, as the story is told, I'll be through in a minute here. As the story is told, the woman whose baby died, yes. the book says it died at her hands. Yes. You, you understand that? It died on her watch. Yes. She laid on top of her own baby Amen. and smothered or suffocated the baby and caused it to die. Yes. But she didn't want to live with the consequences of what she had done. That's just like the devil and all of his people. That's just like the devil and his angels. They want to rebel against God. Do how they want to live how they want. And then get angry when God bless somebody else. You know what they said? Get angry and be hateful because God is doing something for those who are obedient. Oh, she overlaid her own baby yeah. yes. and then devised a scheme <laughs> yes, sir. and swapped the babies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, uh, the scripture says when the argument arose My Lord. and they both got a chance to Present their side. Yeah. Listen carefully. The woman whose baby was dead yeah. really didn't have nothing to lose. Amen. Oh, that's right. And that's why the devil is so adamant with you. Yeah. Because the devil don't have nothing to lose. Amen. That's right. Otherwise, he has already lost everything. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? He's already lost everything. See, the devil was an angel in the beginning. And the book said that he rebelled against God in pride. And rather than be a servant of God, he wanted to be God. Rather than worship God, he wanted to be worshiped. And that devil was so full of pride. Uh -huh. You got to be careful and I have to be careful. Uh -huh. Because he was so full of pride yeah. until one writer said he fell from heaven. But uh -huh. the reality is he was pushed out or kicked out yeah. or evicted yeah. from heaven. Y'all yeah. ain't saying that. Yeah. I heard Jesus say, I'm a hell Satan when he fell like lightning. Yeah. You understand? God didn't let him linger around. Yeah. But in his disobedience, from heaven. And Satan is just like an old boyfriend or an old girlfriend. They don't want you. And they don't want nobody else to have you. The devil didn't want his child. And he don't want you to have it either. The devil wasn't satisfied praising God. And he don't want you to praise God either. The devil misery left So the devil know that he doomed yes. for hell and destruction. Yes. I like to remind folks, as we always quick to try to put people in hell, <laughs> hell was not created or designed Amen. for people. Amen. It was created for the devil and his angels. Yeah. But if you live shut, for the devil instead of for God, in hell, you're going to lift up Amen. your eyes. Yes. I think it's a good day uh -huh. to decide whose hands you want to be Amen. in. In the devil's hmm, all kind of chaos exists. But in the hand of God, there is peace. Says, in the argument, the 
mother said, yeah. that's my baby. I know my baby. Yeah. I know my child. Yeah. But the other woman said, no, her baby died. Uh, <laughs> so Solomon said, I, 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 I can solve it right now. Uh -huh. Go and bring me a sword. Yeah. I just told you God promised him to be the wisest king that yeah. ever lived. Yeah. Yeah. He don't sound... <laughs> This don't sound like a lot of wisdom. Oh he said, bring me a sword. Yeah. And I tell you what we're going to do. All right. Yeah. He got the sword in his hand. Yeah. He said, bring the baby here. Yeah. Oh. And we're going to cut him oh. right in half. Yeah. You get one half, <laughs> and you get one half. Oh. And I think that's a fair way to do it. Yeah. But the real mother said, I don't cut the baby. Yeah. I know it's my baby, yeah. but I'd rather see her raise it than to see my baby die. Yeah. A real mother's love yeah. at whatever cost they'll protect that child. Yeah. A dead giveaway. Yeah. Now, I don't want to tell you, because that's how the devil feels. That woman had killed her own baby. Yeah. She had made her own predicament. Yeah. The devil made his own predicament. He got kicked out of heaven, and he don't want to and I to go. The devil is saying, if I can't have him, cut him in half. I don't care what you do with him. I don't care how you break him down. I don't care about him being strong. Not to cover you up. Uh -huh. Not to protect you. Yeah. Yeah. Not to lead and guide you right now. Well, well, but Jesus told Peter, yeah. he desired to have you yes. so he can sift you like we. Yeah. There's no difference in you and I. Amen. The devil's desire is yeah. to rip us apart. Yeah. His desire is yeah. as God he tries even to tell God that we belong to him. He'll tell God, I know you made them, but they worshiping me. I know you made them, but look at how they sin. Look at how disobedient they are. Look at how hard headed they are. But I thank God for Jesus who stands in the gap, who stands. I know he's hard-headed. I know he misbehaves. I know he's full of sin. But oh, one day I died for him. Oh, he loved us so much. He died for him. I hear that scripture saying, Greater love have no man than this.
When the devil just came a little strong. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Thank you, God. Thank he you. He almost had. Yeah. Uh, the sound of the My feet yeah. were almost not slipped. But when I put my little hand 